Hey YouTube, what's going on? So today I'm going to start making more of my little uh, battery holder things. Uh, i got to cut. Um, I've got two lengths of pipe right now. So I'm just going to start cutting all that and hopefully I can get it all cut. I don't have that saw I used in the other videos, so I'm going to have to do it by hand over here. So it's probably going to take a while, but uh, yeah, let's get to it. So this is what I've been doing is just kind of my, my measurements are 3 eighths of an inch. So I just bring it over here. Tighten down the vise, and then start hacking away. And try to get it as straight as I can, of course. I try to go right up against the edge of the vise to keep it straight. So yeah, that's that's my plan for the day. It's going to take uh, quite a bit of time, so like I said, I hope I can get it all done today. But we'll see. Okay, here we go. What, are you kidding? I'm not going to do it like that the whole time. I'm doing it over here on the little bandsaw. So I did have a piece of flimsy wood on here and every time I would go through, I don't know if the wood was, I don't know, tweaking or bending somehow and a lot of these were coming out a little crooked. So I just kind of fabricated this up real quick and now everything is going smoothly. Okay. Well, that's one 10 foot uh, tube down, so we'll get working on the next. The blade broke. Uh, I'm guessing it probably broke where the missing teeth are. So, I'll have to call it quits on that for a little bit until I get a new blade. Uh, yeah, let me take the clamp off here and we'll look at the carnage. Okie dokie then, looks like I'm done cutting for a little bit. But I got a decent amount cut, and there's only maybe four feet left. So I've cut about 16 feet total maybe. So a lot of these that I cut on the bandsaw, I'm guessing maybe because the blade was pretty dull, it leaves like a little, you know, like after you get a brand new plastic molded piece, you gotta trim off the extra plastic. So that's what's happening. It kind of sucks because it's pretty much on every single one. So I'm just kind of taking them across this uh, ball here and trying to grind it all off. Uh, I guess this would be another drawback of reinventing the wheel and making your own battery holders. So I'm on the fence about still using them or buying the other stuff. For now, I'll just keep plugging away. Okay, since this is the first row that I'm doing, I try to do just one dab on the top. Because if you get too much on there, it'll it'll go down the uh, in between the two pieces, which is good, but it'll go all the way down to the table, and it's harder to get off the table. Yeah, I try to do one little dab, otherwise it'll stick to the table with glue. And I also hooked up a computer fan uh, to one of those little wall wart things, it's a 12 volt one, because the fumes from the super glue can be, I don't know, quite eye irritating <laughs> and of course since i use the bandsaw this time they're not perfect they're a little wonky each one of my packs are going to be 25 long by by four 
Yeah, I mean, I really don't know if this is a great idea or not. Of course, with every project I do, basically, I live and breathe tinkering. If I could do it full time, you know, and get paid for it, oh my god, I would be in freaking heaven. Maybe that's what the end goal is with the YouTube. I guess technically I'm already doing YouTube full time, you just don't get paid much. But, you know, it's a hundred dollars every couple of months right now, so I mean, that helps out with you know, building your projects or, you know, you need a specific tool like a bandsaw blade now. <laughs> your next question is how much super glue am I going to be using with all this? I have no idea. I go to uh, Harbor Freight and get their like 10 or 12 pack for like a dollar. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect if anybody decides to do something like this. These are actually pretty strong. I do get a lot of questions about how strong this is or how long it's going to last. Well, I mean, everybody handles their battery packs with care. It's not like I'm going to be tossing these around and they're going to just sit in that server rack over there. So it should do just fine. And you can pick up the pack, you know, on one end and the rest of it is just hanging there. So it's strong enough to do that. All right, now we'll let that set up for a few minutes, let this end dry a little bit, and then uh, I'll peel it off the table and show you what I do next. Okay, so what I do here is, of course, try to rip it up from the table. A lot of times it will just come up like it is now. Okay, so that came up pretty easily. So the first video that I made in building these, I just flipped it over and did one little dot of course along each edge which I can do I will probably do fuck it I'll just do that right now and again I'm only gonna do a small tiny dot if I can I have um, tried hot glue but it did not stay very well I was able to just kinda rip it apart and this stuff uh, seemed to hold a little better Now that you've got all of those glued, I usually stand it up on its side like so, and I usually will go down the line and just put a drop down in each crevice, and it'll fill that whole gap. Like so, and then set it aside to dry. Okay, and over here, I'm not getting very many good cells left. All I have are these green these green ones, and we all know that those aren't ever good. And of course, these blue uh, Sony Energy Tech. Those are usually crap, for me at least. And of course, these green ones that are Sony Fukushima's. Uh, I never get very good of those either. All of these cells over here, I think there's 130-ish. Uh, most of these I have to re-shrink wrap, so if I'm at 130-ish, I only need like 17 cells. 17 cells, and then I'll have my 1400, and then I can start putting this shit together. Holy crap, I'm like so close, but so far because, I mean, if I need like 10 cells, that's going to suck because I don't have any more batteries besides these, these green ones. Okay, so yeah, that is my update for the day. Uh, I needed to take a little bit of a break from the fuse testing because I don't have any more wire to test for the moment. I did order some of these little tiny glass fuse type fuses. Uh, I think I got the idea from somebody off of the DIY Powerwall forum. Uh, he's getting them from the AliExpress. So I put an order in for 50 for one whole dollar and they are 2 amp. We'll see. Yeah, I don't know how long it takes for them to like process it, but I put the order in like four or five days ago and it's still saying it hasn't accepted my payment yet or something. I don't know. Do you guys have the same type of issue or how long does it take to get something from that website? Because if I have to order something from there, holy crap, dude. Yeah, I mean, I know it's coming from China, probably. I don't know. Okay, so that is my update for the day. We will talk to you guys later.
Hey guys, just wanted to say thanks for visiting my channel, and if you liked the video that you just saw, take a look at my channel for some more videos and projects that I have going on. So making some of the past videos, I have noticed some problems I'm having with my cameras, especially in like low light or trying to get up close and personal with something. Basically what I'm saying is the cameras, they're not really doing what I need them to do anymore on this channel. So if you guys like the videos that I'm making here, Maybe you would be interested in helping me purchase a new camera so I can uh, make some better quality videos. And if you do want to do that, I have two links down below. One of them is the Patreon link and one of them is the PayPal link. All I can say is thanks in advance and I appreciate everything that you guys do for helping me out. Alright, we'll see you guys later. So, um... yeah or whatever um um and um and as a uh